Hello everyone, I'm back in Jackie's garden in Barking. Um, you can see um, how his garden has progressed from when I first came at the beginning of the year and when this garden was just full of grass and nothing else really. Um, and you can see it looks like almost like a tropical jungle. Um, but you know, it's progressed so much with a lot of hard work from Jackie and his parents. And this might be a quite long video, so please stick around to the end because there's a lot to show you. Um, let me just start you over here. This is, um, you can see, this is red amaranth, uh, lal shag, also known as. And here are a lot of beans. Now, from these plants, Jackie said that he hasn't had beans from here because apparently this is, these are uh, late bloomers. But you can see there are some hyacinth beans already here, known as Ainauri in Bengali. So they've had a lot of Ainauri. And in this area, Dave, you must have seen in previous videos, if you look at the previous ones, they've had uh, Lal Shag and, sorry, the, the, yeah, this type of amaranth and the green amaranth, which is Denga or, or Dugi. You can see runner beans here. You can see Jakir made this trellis with a lot of bamboo. A lot of investment, but this is obviously long-term investment. Look at this pumpkin. And you can see here, there's already some beans going, turning into seeds. He's also got uh, a chocha growing here with a combination of so many different beans. So all along this stretch is a combination of quite a few different beans. And obviously he's got the, the, the pumpkin and the squash plant, which he accidentally planted there. So here you can see the achocha. Yeah, let me show you. So that's the chocha, and there's more growing at the top there. This is what it looks like close up. <laughs> right, so, and then all of this is red amaranth, and here again, um, they planted more red amaranth so they can hopefully have this before the winter. And along here, there's let me show you, so there's more beans here. These beans grow really, really nicely. And then they've got these beans. <clears throat> I think these are like a French climbing bean, uh, which they only actually eat the actual bean inside. So they shell it and throw away the skin and just eat the actual bean. And there's a lot of beans growing here as well. and always in full sun so they don't have to worry about that and this is Nali Shad so um, this is something that's grown in Bangladesh um, if you obviously if you're Bengali you know exactly what Nali Shad is uh, but what we do is we use the leaves and we make a kind of um, well you boil it and we just you know add you know a few spices but not much it's pretty much boiled on its own and just it, it, you don't really have to add much to it but in Guli people really like Nali Shag and I haven't really this is the first time I've seen Nali Shag grown by anyone um, I don't know if we've tried it before in our garden I don't know if my parents have tried it but there you go um, they have Nali Shag growing so here are the trellises Jackie made this year um, made with this m metal mesh and here is the result of it so Jakir has got, well, let me walk through it all the way. Look at this, he, he's got, so this, these trellises were made just for the gourds and for the squashes and pumpkins. And they've done really, really well. And they've already picked, I'm sure, in excess of 10 of, you know, gourds alone. And this is a, um, so this is, in the Bengalis call this a Chinese Kumra. And the common English name is um, shark fin melon as far as I know and um, I don't know the scientific name I'm afraid so here you can see look lots of cuckoo melons growing as well and he's got gourds 
and pumpkins and squash growing everywhere, as you can see. Look at these gourds. So they've had a really good harvest so far and things are still growing. And obviously you must have seen this, this stands out, nice and orange. Another squash. And there's another one here. This is all basil. Flowered now. More gourds. Or funny hodo. And in this area, um, Jackie had marrow growing. <clears throat> yes, he had. He did have the courgettes, and then left a few for marrow in this area as well. <clears throat> Loads of gourds. This tunnel's really great, actually. I mean, so it's two eight feet long mesh, which he start joined from either side like this, and then they join at the top, and he used cable tie to join them up. Um, I'm not very tall, I'm about five foot eight, so I do have to duck a little bit when I get there, uh, when I try and walk underneath it. Here's another shark fin melon. So they've had quite a few of these from just one plant. I think there's about seven or eight, they said, uh, from one plant. Look at this, this just looks really, really nice. Um, and it took a lot of effort to make these trellises. And here you can see, Jackie has bought more of this um, wooden frames to create another trellis in this area. So Jackie will uh, remove this um, mesh trellis from this area, and he's gonna make another shorter uh, wooden trellis for next year. And this is where all the gourd plants, the majority of the gourd plants started. So along here, he's had several squash plants, a few different types of squash, well, squash, pumpkin, shark fin melon, and gourds. And you can see the variety. So he's got the shark fin melon. There's a couple of squashes or pumpkins. One here and another one here. This one is really large. This one is really, really big. And there's another shark fin melon. Chinese kumra going here. And lots of cuckoo melons growing as well. And it's really pleasing to see all this vegetables growing. Um, from what I saw in the beginning of the year when there was nothing and we built these, uh, the trellis and Jackie obviously built these himself. Um, but the progress of this garden is just incredible. Um, and this is the very first time, let's not forget, that Jackie and his family have been growing vegetables. And the experience will do them, could do them great going forward um, into next year. Um, but you know they're really really pleased with this and I'm really pleased that they you know the effort that they put in has actually paid off um, there's not a lot going in here although I know that Jackie said his dad did throw some uh, amaranth seeds and you can actually see there is amaranth growing so this is denga I think along with all the weeds and this is uh, Thai basil yeah, that's Thai basil And then, not a lot growing here, but this plant, cabbage plant, and this is foy shag. Uh, it's another edible green that Bangladeshis grow. There's one here and another one just there. Now, however, another one here that you can see that it's been eaten, chewed on. I don't know what it is. And, this was pretty much, as he said, in a couple of days, or overnight, all of this. So it was either birds or, or maybe a bunch of, a gang of snails or slugs just attacked it. More basil here. And 
going back closer to the house, he's got rows of plants in pots. So this is um, it's a citrus plant of some kind. I think it's grown on it, so maybe this is one that they'll have to see if anything grows next year. And in this pot here, aubergines, look at this. Lots of aubergines, and they've actually picked, um, harvested lots of aubergines already because they do have quite a lot. Here's naga chilies. They're just waiting for them to ripen a little bit and then they'll get picked. But there's a lot of naga chilies on this plant. Sweet peppers. Sweet peppers, this one's a little bit deformed, but I'm sure it doesn't affect its taste. More sweet peppers, and you can see they're not in very large pots, but they're doing okay. So here are some plants that Jackie just didn't have the time, um, or I guess the energy to transplant into larger pots or in, into the ground, so he just left them, but... So look, you can still see there's peppers growing. That's a cucumelon vine. There's more peppers growing. There's baby peppers. That's another aubergine plant. There's a baby aubergine. And then along here is a, a row of just aubergine plants. So let me just go through that and see. These are the longer types. I think Bengalis call it the Lotha Banguin. I'm not sure, but it looks like Lotha Banguin. See another one there. And then I've seen some really big round ones here as well. Oh, look at this. Full of aubergines. Look at this. Look at, look at how many aubergines that they've got. Oh, yeah, man. This particular one. Let me show you this aubergine. I've never seen anything like this. Look at the size of this. This is massive. Uh, mashallah. This is really, really good. So there's a lot of aubergines and they picked them and they've had a lot of aubergines already and there's loads more growing there. And then just behind it, Chucky planted quite a few chili plants. You can see there's lots of chilies growing. One is another variety, they grow in bunches. And there's a purple variety. They're not long, they're more rounder. They look spicy enough to me. They look great. And then more chili plants here. Done really, really well. Loads of chilies. Yeah. And then they've got the purple variety as well. And there's a couple of plants here. I'm really big. And they've got lots of purple chilies growing here. So a few plants here. <clears throat> with all the purple chilies. So what they've done is they've got pretty much a row of chilies, a row of aubergines, and you've got some peppers along here with the aubergine and the naga chili plant as well. And on this bed, Jackie planted mint and he had nothing grown here really in the beginning of the year apart from this rose bush, which is also very nice. A very nice rose boy actually. <clears throat> so he's planted um, the mint mango, in fact they're from my garden the mint and he's planted it all along here and you can see it's all flowered now. But Jackie is really happy about the flowers because um, it attracts the bees. 
So all along here is mint. And then in this area, in a few pots, some tomatoes. You can see the plum tomatoes growing. And in this bed, um, this is um, it's just tomatoes as well. <coughs> I think these are heirloom tomatoes, but um, he's picked quite a few already. These may be plum, certainly are plum. But he's also got the heirloom larger tomatoes growing as well. This didn't grow in Jackie's garden, this was a gift given to him by somebody. So, I mean, we're in September now, so I think we're just hoping that this grows a little bit more and then they can have this pineapple. Uh, but this is the first time I've seen a growing pineapple in, in England. Um, but I've heard other people have actually managed to do this before. Um, somehow they've grown it on compost bins, on top of the compost bin where it's very warm. And they've managed to grow melons and pineapples. So Jack has bought this... Um, uh, water but he hasn't connected he's gonna put a gutter on the side of this outhouse there's a big sloping roof there so and he's gonna put this either at the front of the outhouse or the back because rainwater is a lot better than the chlorine um, based um, water that we get from the taps and also you know it's um, a good use of um, natural resource um, as well and I think eventually as well, in in this area in Barking, Jack is going to get um, a water meter um, and also saving his own water will save him money as well. Another little tip, if you look out for bargains at this time of the year, autumn time, a lot of the big stores, they clear out a lot of the, the soil and compost that they sell in stores um, at discounted prices. So um, Jack is already stocked up you can see uh, a lot of um, purpose, all-purpose compost um, ready for next year's growing. You know, you can only admire how much um, that has grown in this garden, the amount of effort that Jackie and his parents have put into it. And this is the result, or this is the fruits of it, literally. Um, so um, this is a garden, let's not forget, that had just grass in the beginning of the year and from nothing, look at this, it's just had so much vegetable growing and they've had to give out so much because you can't finish it all. And obviously they'll be, they've, they're gonna start freezing a lot of the vegetables now to have over winter. Um, but this is, um, I hope it encourages anyone who isn't growing any vegetable to be confident enough to start doing it yourself because without any previous experience, you know, this is what they managed to achieve. Of course, there's um, a lot of effort you need to put in. You need to give it a lot of time um, to get it to this stage. Um, but, you know, plants grow even when you're asleep. So once you put all the hard work in, um, they look after themselves. Anyway, guys, I really um, hope you enjoyed um, watching the progress of Jackie's Garden. Um, as I said, have a look at some of the previous videos and you'll see how it's got to this stage um, if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and any questions that you have any comments that you you might have um, regarding um, how to start a new vegetable garden um, any questions you have about Jacques garden um, please ask me in the comments and i promise to um, reply to every single comment um, thank you very much for watching um, Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.